Hi, I'm going to show you a couple things that are new with the text tool. Let's start by adding some text. You can see that it starts from the right side. I'm going to put, my son loves his new snowboard. All right, so we have our text and we can align it down here. I'm going to center align it. And now we have a new button called case. And what case does is it turns everything to uppercase, lowercase, title case, or sentence case. I'm going to show you quickly what each one does. Uppercase, everything's uppercase. Lowercase, all letters are lowercase. Title case, that takes the first letter of each word and turns, uh, capitalizes it. And then sentence case just takes that first letter of the sentence and capitalizes it. So this is a quick way to see what looks best on your page. Sometimes our title looks great in all uppercase. Sometimes we want it in sentence case. And this just allows us not to have to retype everything. With the curve tool, it's now a quick tool. You just press curve and then you can go outside circle or inside circle. Puts it on the bottom. Outside square puts it at the top. Inside square puts it at the bottom. And of course, if you wanted to change that circle to a rectangle, you just change the size of your text box and it changes it to a rectangle or sorry, to an oval. And of course, a square to a rectangle. That's not curving anymore. So I'd want to change my box. And of course, you can adjust your box to make the words so that all of one word is where you want it. And it's just a matter of playing with the arrow keys until you have everything where you want. You can now match your text to anything on your page. You just press the match tool and you move your mouse arrow key to what you want to match up to. So say I want to match up to the white. I find some white and I make sure that little cross is on the color I want. And then I left click my mouse key and press OK. You can see here's the previous text color. Here's my new text color. It's very hard to see because I've chosen white. Press OK and it changes that text. I'm going to go back to black so you guys can see it. Of course, we can mirror text. You can flip text. Uh, you can put it to the left. You can put it to the right. And you can now, I'm actually going to change my text back to normal, which you just have to click on regular text if you've chosen to curve it. So regular text. I'll show you that left again. Sorry, the left actually flips it. Let's go back. The right flips it to the right. So that's nice and quick. You don't have to rotate the box. And the other new thing they have is the border. So what this does is if you want to add a box around your text, you simply click on it and then you slide by holding your left mouse key. You just slide it and let go to see how thick that box is. Slide it a bit more and you can choose how thick you want it. You can also color that text box. You press color and choose the color that you want see that the color that's going to be is going to come up here. This is what it was. This is what it's going to be. Let's choose a nice blue. Press OK. And that text box is, box is now blue. Just adds a bit of variety to your page. I sometimes like a text box around because it highlights that text and draws attention to it. I'm going to just reverse out of that. And I'm going to show you padding. Padding is a way of adding space between the edge of your text box and where your text is. So for example, I'm going to actually get rid of our border here. Okay, There we go. There's no border. So say I have my text on a page and it's just underneath a photo. That happens sometimes with me. So instead of having to sit there and try to adjust my text box, you can go to padding and you just slide again, just slide the slider and it adds more space between the edge of your text box and your text. So this will just come in handy if you're trying to fit things in and you just need to nudge a little bit. You just simply slide this around until your text fits. So those are a few of the new things in text. I hope you have fun and uh, let me know what you learn with your new software.